Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Happy Sunday. Today I thought we'd make a card together. This is the card, the first card that I'm going to be featuring over on the Facebook page, my Facebook page, Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Um, I have applied to have the name changed, so the new name will be Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner and Friends because my idea is to have that page be a place where you guys and I can hang out together and um, share projects that we've made. So this week's theme is going to be pets. That's it, just pets. So I'm gonna be making a card showing, showcasing a couple of these my favorite thing puppies from the latest release. They're called Puppy Pals. And um, I've already colored them and cut them out with the Brother Scan and Cut. I will insert right now how I did that with the Brother Scan and Cut. Okay, so I wanted to show you how I'm going to scan out the two images that I've colored for today's project. So as you can see, there's the Brother Scan and Cut. And there are the two images. Right now I just have them sitting on the mat. Now my mat is not very sticky. But I'm going to show you how I get around that. So they're just kind of sitting in the corner where I know where they're at. So in case they move, I can put them back. And then I'm just going to kind of rub it down just a little bit, just to kind of hold it in place, just for the scan. And then we're going to come up and we're going to hit direct cut. We're going to scan it into the machine. We're going to do color because my images are colored. And then we're going to hit start. <laughs> And it's not going to move that image. That image will stay put long enough for me to get it taped in place to cut it out. Maybe. Okay, so as you can see, it didn't move it. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take, without getting my fingers in the camera again, I'm just gonna take some washi tape that I have made unsticky by rubbing it across my skin a few times and I'm going to place it on the edges of my picture and then I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so all I've done is I've taped the, the corner, so I've got the two bottom corners and then the top with just a little bit of washi tape. That's going to hold this on the mat, but you're going to, you really want to scan it first because you don't want to have to deal with all that tape being on your scan, okay? So now that we've got that done, I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to frame the image. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the other two puppies too. Oh, you know what? I'm not. I'm just going to cut out, for time's sake, I'm just going to cut out these two puppies. Make sure I leave enough room to cut out the other two puppies though. Okay, we're going to hit OK. It's going to recognize the images. It's going to show us what it saw and how it will cut out. And you can make it, if you can't see it, you can make it a little bit bigger, but that looks fine to me. So I'm going to hit OK. I want a little white outline around it. So I've done that. We're going to hit OK. And all I'm going to do is hit OK again. We're going to hit Cut and we're going to hit start. All right, our images are cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the washi tape and I'm going to come back and show you what we're going to do with those little puppies. And there you can see the Brother Scan and Cut did a wonderful job cutting out our little images. They look fantastic. They are perfectly cut out. I love it, love it, love it. So there's our little silhouette. That's what we have left behind. And of course our other two puppies are still there ready to go for us to color and cut out another day. So this is why, guys, I don't buy the dies anymore because the Brother Scan and Cut does a wonderful job, seriously, on almost everything. 
some of the some of the ones where you want to do like in the hot air balloons where you want to get in between the balloon strings you know that little part that you want to cut out you still have to do that by hand um, where the dies would but that's not often enough for me to buy the dies so yeah all right now let's get started with our project and then we will get started on this card okay so my idea is I'm using a ton of things I'm using some lawn fawn grass I'm using my favorite things puppies I'm using Jean and Marie designs um, trees background trees and I'm going to be using some distress ink and the my favorite things um, mini cloud dies the small cloud dies or die a small stencil okay so let's get started because I don't want this to be a hundred years long a bajillion and yes guys I know I know you don't have to tell me about bajillion I know but going this way so I'm just gonna put some clouds in. I'm gonna use tumbled glass, which mine's almost dry. I've ordered a refill for some of my blues, but I haven't gotten it in yet. I ordered it from Joann's because they were super, super on sale and they were having that family and friends discount. But I haven't gotten them in yet. It takes so long. All right, so let's talk, while I, while I do this stenciling, I just wanna talk a little bit about my idea for that Facebook page. So. I normally go over and, oh snap, where's my little thingy, Bob? Um, I usually just go over and post my stuff there, but I really wanted to have a place where we could hang out together and share different projects that we've made under a theme. Now, this idea is not original by any stretch of the imagination. Other people have done it, um, but I decided to do it because, you know, there are so many things on YouTube, co collabs and, um, you know, things that you can join to do certain projects, but I, I'll, I, I'll to, to, to be very honest, although I've asked to join a few of them, I've never been accepted into these little elite little groups of people that are doing things. So I'm like, you know, let's just, let's just make it a little bit fun. So my idea is to come up with a theme each week. Or we could even do it once a month, maybe. I'm not sure about that. Come up with a theme. There's no rules. You don't. You can sign up one week to do it, or you don't have to do it the next week. That's totally up to you. Um, so there's no rules. You don't have to. You don't have to be committed to do one each week. So this is how it's going to work. As long as I get ten participants or more for each of the project shares that we do which will be announced here on YouTube and on Facebook, um, there will be a prize. We'll do a random.org after about a week, and um, we'll do a little prize and you know give away little things for crafting here and there, okay? So I think that would be super fun, and it's a good way for us to see each other's work um, without having to make a video. There's no video required. You're just gonna pop a picture onto Facebook, and um, tell us what you've done. If you want to share how you've done it, what you've used, that would be great. But if you don't want to go through all that, no worries. No worries at all. Okay? So, what do you think about that idea, guys? I think it's a super... I was planning on using two different colors, but I really like this color. I really, really do. And I really, really, really like this stencil, guys. Oh, my goodness. Love the stencil. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness, I just love, 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 love. I'm gonna go this away. I'm gonna go this away. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be the first card. It's gonna be pets. So anything pet related, you could do cats, dogs, birds, fish, whatever you want to do. If it can be a pet, if it can be a household pet, do it. If you want to do a card, do it. If you want to make a pillow, do it. Whatever you want to do that is pet related and you want to share it over on the Facebook group, go ahead and do it. If you want to copy my card, 100% or just a little bit, do it. You know, have fun with it, guys. 
All right, the breast I'm just going to do in a little bit of blue because we got grass and all kinds of stuff going on down here. I'm going to leave a little rough edge so I don't lose my clouds. All right, so that is going to be our background. Perfect, right? All right let's move this out of the way. Okay. All right, so do I want to go ahead and do the card base? No, we'll do the card base last. All right, so I'm going to be putting some grass. I chose a super bright green, which may be a bit much with the colors of the brown and the blue, but this is a child's card. This is going to be a children card. This is not my glue. <laughs> um, so I want to keep it bright. So that's, that's what I'm going to do there. Okay, so my card front, this is going to be my card front. It's actually cut five and a half to four inches because I was mimicking the size of the Gina Marie Designs tree die. So if you're going to be using this die, you're going to want to cut your paper at five and a half, which is this way, and then four inches this way instead of four and a quarter, if you want it to be flush on your card, which I, on this base, which I do. So I may adjust the card size to reflect that, or I may just see how it looks with a little border because you guys know I like a border anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our grass down here at the bottom. Oh baby, I'm not sure I wanted it exactly at the bottom. I don't think I did. I think I wanted it right there. But before it dries, because you know our glue gives us some time, let's see if we're going to be covered up. We're going to be covered up enough. Okay, good. All right, so that's gonna give us our first little hill of grass. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put our trees, our background of trees on here. So it's gonna be going on top of that hill of grass, heel. Yeah, that southernness comes out in me sometimes. And this is why I like this tip on this glue, guys, look how thin you can make it if you try and aren't so shaky. Keywords, not so shaky. So I'll be back on in a little bit with Sunday Chit Chat, but I wanted to get this up today. Like I said, I've requested to have the name of that Facebook page changed because I really want us to be a group. So if you follow me here on YouTube or other social media sites, I want you to be able, I want you to think and feel like it's just not for my, me. It's not just my page, it's our page. And I'm gonna help us do that by, um, you know, starting these little campaigns that we can do. And like I said, anybody is welcome to join in. There's no clicky thing going on here. If you wanna be part of it, join in. If you don't wanna do it for that week, don't do it. If you do, do it. It's totally up to you. But the only way that I will give a prize is if we have 10 or more participants. That's the only stipulation. Okay, I might have over glued this thing. <sighs> Who knows with me, right? Okay, let's make sure you guys can see. And let's get this kind of on here as straight as possible, which is a challenge for me. But that's one of the reasons why I love, 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 love this glue. All right, we got a little wonky thing going on over here on this side, on this corner, that I'm not digging. Excuse my arms, guys. Better. All right, I can live with the rest of this, no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and remove a little bit of that glue. And now let's go ahead and press it down so it's really gonna stick. Perfect. Now there's a little bit of glue hanging out, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just gonna kind of remove it. You know, there's no reason to have it look. It's gonna dry matte. All right, so there's our first 
part of the scene right there. We got our little clouds in the background. We've got our little grassy hill on the bottom. Then we're going to come in and put another grassy hill right on top, which is going to cover up part of that brown frame, and I'm okay with that because I want this to be part of the dimension. And actually, we might go ahead and put some foam tape on that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I can fit a piece right there, no problem. That's about as far as I can go with that one, though. All right, then we'll go ahead and cut this down. The scissors I'm using are by EK Success. Um, I actually have two or three pairs of these, and I love them because um, they don't stick. They're Teflon. They're super sharp. They're great for detail work. They're great for fussy cutting, and I can use them for scissor for um, you know cutting out my tapes as well. So I usually have one pair. The one that's stained up is the one I use when I'm cutting tape and stuff, and the, the one I have one that sets aside that I use just for fussy cutting, and then one that I use for everything else. I know, kind of ridiculous, but that's how I do it. Just because I think cutting through the tape is going to wear the scissors down faster, they're not they're not grossly expensive. I think they're like twelve dollars or something, so they're not very expensive. I got mine at Target back when Target was still carrying all the EK Success stuff. I don't think they are anymore. At least mine isn't. All right, so now with this tape, you're just gonna to wanna to set it on there and not push it down so that you can adjust it, kinda of look at it at every angle and see if you like what you're seeing. And if you are, then go ahead and push it down. And if you're not, you can adjust it. But once you've pushed it down, it could be a booger, not impossible, but it could be a booger to pull it back up again. All right, but I'm okay with that. All right, so now we have our trees in the foreground, our clouds in the background, and we've got some grass in the front ground as well. So that's a nice dimensional card right there, wouldn't you say? Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna add our puppies. So I've colored the puppies. I use Copic markers to color them. I'll show you the colors real quick. Got them all right here. All right, so I use the colorless blender just to add some spot details on them. Um, I used E35, 33, 31, 37, 39, and 34 on the puppies. And on the bandanas, I used R27, 24, and 29. Okay, and then I added um, the Signa Uniball White for highlights. And I use the gel pen. Hold, watch. The glaze pen, the black glaze pen um, by Secura for the eyes and the nose. So the nose has got glaze on it as well. All right, so those are the colors that I used. All right, so my idea was to have these little puppies. I'm gonna have one like coming out of the bushes, like he's playing, like popping out of the bushes right there. I'm gonna have one sitting all the way on the foreground, like right there. And then I'm gonna have this little magical little white cloud just sitting above them that says, I woof you. And that is gonna be my card, guys. What do you think? Super stinking adorable, right? I had cut out a couple more clouds thinking I might want to ground the clouds, but I really just want the one cloud. I just want it to be kind of, you know, hey, look at me. All right, so for the puppy's head, we're gonna put some tape back here because he's gonna be popped up. Uh, maybe one more piece right there. And then we're gonna put some glue on the bottom. Now I could have added a little ball or a little toy or something here, and I'm not saying I won't do that. I just haven't done it yet. And do I want him a little closer, like right there? 
Yep, I think right there is going to be good. All right, so let's go ahead and add glue to his back side. Peel off the tape. And we'll get him put down because he's going to be sitting about right there. I've determined he's the boy. And she's the little girl. And she's just going to be glued down because th there's no reason to pop her up anywhere. All right, let's get her down. And she's going to be playfully jumping out of the bushes. Just about like that. Adorbs. Okay, cute. And then for my little cloud, I'm just going to take whatever ink I have left over on this, and I'm just going to go around the edges just a little bit, just to give this a little bit of something to tie in the blue. Not a lot, because I want that white to pop. Can you see the little blue around there? Super cute, right? And if you wanted to go a little bit darker around some of the edges, like just where the puffies and are, where the puffies are. All right, and then we're going to add that on top, and that's going to tie in the blue from the sky and the clouds. And isn't that super cute? And that I think we're going to pop up. Now, like I said, this would be super, that's too big, this would be really super cute if we put a little dog, a little dog bone or a ball or something right here as well. And I might go in and do that. I'll show you what our choices were here in just a second in that set. But I don't know that I want to do that. I'm just, I couldn't make up my mind at the time that I colored it out. So let's see what we could do. All right. Do I have a piece of white paper? All right, so we had a couple of bones. We had a ball and we had a dish. I really wasn't making this about the puppies playing with something. I really wanted it to look like they were interacting with each other. So I, uh, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. So it's a little outdoor scene with our puppies. And I need to put a little bit of glue right here because I'm not digging that. We want that to be stuck down. And then I'm just going to come in with my Teflon bone folder, which, like I said, like I've told you guys, is one of my favorite things. Okay. And we're going to put our cloud down. And we're going to put the cloud so that it's in front of our little and there you go guys there's our card front so now all we have to do is put it on the front of our card and we are done what do you think super pretty right all right i'm going to go ahead and stick it on the base i'm going to pop it on over on the facebook group i cannot wait so if you guys can see here there's a little bit of color can you see that a little bit of brown outside the line um i've already hit that with my uh, colorless blender and it didn't take it all the way off so let me show you what I do to correct that now I've got my um, Signa Uniball white pen okay and I'm just gonna take it and on the scrap piece of paper I'm just gonna make sure it's already good to go that it's already got some ink coming out of it and then I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna touch up right where that brown is And look, gone. It's perfect. And you can do that any little place where you see that there's just too much coming out of the line. Remember, guys, these are homemade cards. They are supposed to not look perfect, but we want them to look as good as they can, right? So there is my card. What do you think? All right. So I hope to see you over there tagging along. I will be posting over there in the next couple of days what the price will be.
if we get 10 or more people and I hope to see you over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing what you create. Come on over to Dighty Dyes Crafty Corner on Facebook. It's Dighty Dyes Crafty Corner and Friends probably by tomorrow. It usually takes them 24 hours. Um, but right this second, it's still Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner, and it'll be a nice little place for us to hang out. Also, I can do live videos over there, so I'm planning on doing that as well. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.